How's it going guys? Joshua Lefemi here with Adobe and Epidemic Sound. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make a week's worth of social media content in just one day. Growing our social media can be kind of tough when quantity is often rewarded over quality. But what if there's a way where you didn't have to actually compromise on either side? Using dynamic motion graphic design templates and music from Epidemic Sound, both on Adobe Stock, is like a cheat code for consistent content creation. Okay, so let's say that you're a fashion blogger that wants to make one week's worth of content for your Instagram, but you only have one day to actually do it. That might sound impossible at first, but let me actually show you how easy it is to do. Go over to the templates tab on the Adobe Stock website, stock.adobe.com, and type in what you're looking for. In this case, we're a fashion blogger, so we will type in fashion. Right away, you'll see that we have an amazing collection to choose from. However, we're looking for templates that we can use in Adobe Premiere Pro, since we wanna make video content. All we gotta do is click on the view panel button to check out our filter options. And then just click on the Premiere Pro box. We can then browse through Adobe Stock's amazing options of motion graphic templates. I'm looking for something sleek that has at least seven styles in the template. That way I have a variety for each post that I make for the week. This one is an animated pitch deck, but I think the style really works well for what I have in mind. All I have to do is click on the license button. If I already have an Adobe Stock plan, in this case, I can re-download for free because I've already licensed this template. You can also download this for free with a trial, which gives you subscription plans that suits your needs. Once the mocap file has been downloaded, let's load it into Premiere Pro. With the program open, let's first create a new sequence by clicking the new item icon and then clicking sequence. Hop over to the settings tab and change the editing mode to custom so we can change a few things here. Since we're creating content to be uploaded to Instagram, for example, let's make the frame size 1080 by 1080 so that it'll be a square video. Then make sure that the pixel aspect ratio is square pixels if it isn't already and that the fields is set to no fields. Once we're done, click OK on the bottom of the window. Now that I have a sequence created, let's move over to the graphics workspace so I have access to the essential graphics panel. Just click on the workspaces button on the top right to open up our workspace options and click on graphics. Click the button on the very bottom right of the Essential Graphics panel to install a Mogurt template, and then navigate over to the Mogurt file you downloaded from Adobe Sock. Once it's in, the template will show up in the panel for you to use. Let's drag it over to our timeline to see what it looks like. Our template is cropped because it was meant for a wider resolution, but we can easily move things around when we click our template layer and go to the Edit tab in the Essential Graphics panel. As you can see, we can check out all of the options that we can change in the Mogurt template. For example, we can move the slider for our style selection to change which style we want to use. We can change the text by moving over the main text controls and start replacing the text to whatever we like. In this case, let's say we wanted to show off an outfit of the day, and so we typed in OOTD in text one. We can move the position of your text with the X and Y parameters. We can also change things like the font, text size, and color to anything that we like. We just have to do this for all of the text options that we want to change and keep in our video. I just love how much control we have over our text without compromising the design. Now, I'm not a motion graphics artist or designer, but using templates from Adobe Stock makes it look like that my posts are made by an experienced designer. Since we're showing off an outfit, we'll need to throw in an image. Let's move this Mogurt layer to the video track above so we make space for the image underneath. We'll double click on an empty space on our project panel and import the photo we want in this video. Once it's in, drag and drop it into our timeline, but underneath our Mogurt layer. Let's also extend the photo so it fits within the duration of the Mogurt template. Just click on either ends of the photo layer and drag it however long you want the photo to last. We'll want to resize and reposition the photo by clicking the photo layer, then heading over to our effect control panel. Under motion, let's start moving the parameters under position and scale until the photo fits our video. Let's see what it looks like so far when we play it back. Now that we have the visual side of our content taken care of, let's talk about our audio. Music is such an important part for creating the atmosphere for the videos that we watch. So far we've made something that will stop people from endlessly scrolling by having eye-catching visuals, but we want the viewer to be sucked into the content. Music does just that. Thankfully we can easily find the right music with Adobe Stock Audio without even having to leave Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go to Window at the very top and open up the Essential Sound panel. On the Browse tab, you'll notice that you have access to many music libraries that can be used right away. Click on Filters, and you can choose things like the tempo you want your music to be at, the music's duration, and which music libraries that you even want to use on Adobe Stock Audio. I like using Epidemic Sound because of their insane selection of music. Make sure that you don't miss other options to narrow down your search, like moods and the genre of music. I'm feeling hip hop, so let's select that under genres. As for mood, let's go for something laid back, like atmospheric. Just like that, we've got some amazing tracks to choose from. If you want to hear how it sounds along with your edit, 
the timeline sync feature is one of the coolest features I've ever seen. As long as the box is checked, you can hit the play button on the track to preview it right away. Let's listen to how Always Raining sounds with our video. Another way to preview it is to simply drag and drop the music track over to your timeline and into the audio track. The amazing part about this is that you can experiment with this track in your edit without any distracting watermarks. In our case, let's cut the music so that the beat starts along the beginning of the video and then play it back. That's the vibe that I'm looking for. Like I said before, choosing the right track really sets up the mood for your video, and Adobe Stock Audio makes it super convenient. Remember how I said that you don't have to leave Premiere Pro to find that right track? Well, you can purchase the music directly in the panel by clicking the shopping cart icon next to your track. Adding quality music has never been this easy. We got the photo in place, the text replaced, and the music to top it off. I think we're ready to export our first animated social media post. For a simple video like this, one of my favorite features to use is the quick export button. This will automatically pick the most popular or most frequent preset. I just need to pick where I want to save it and what to name it before hitting export. And just like that, you've created an engaging post that's not only eye-catching, but rich with the music supporting it. In order to make a full week's worth of posts, you'll just need to do what we just did six more times by choosing the other styles in the template and then replacing the text, images, and music. I used to dread creating content for social media because of just how time consuming it was. But Adobe Stock Templates and Premiere Pro make it so easy to bulk create content with the way that I showed you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed what you learned today. If you're looking for more tips and tricks, make sure to check out other episodes from the Social Edit series. Until next time, remember to keep it chill.